everyone, we are back with another full self-driving in Newark, Long Island. So we're gonna see how the car performs here. I just turned on full self-driving. My car is getting out from my driveway. We are seeing there are a few part car and the car avoided those perfectly without any hesitation. Unfortunately, I didn't get the latest and gray software yet. I am keep asking on X that please give me the software version. But we have to deal with it and I know so many people are currently on 12.3.6. So this video is only for you guys. So we're going to make a right turn on this stop sign. Our car is stopped and looking on our left side, there is no other car after this car. We should proceed now. For some reason, the car is stuck. That car was way 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 behind but still the car just stuck there and after this car we should proceed um okay so now you're proceeding but the before you didn't proceed earlier but it is what it is guys we have to deal this kind of uh thing right guys so what we're gonna do is uh, navigating our car to a point where the car always makes mistake where well, there is a narrow road and because of the sun the car almost hit the fence but we're gonna try how the car and full self-driving performs over there what i always do on, on that exact location also guys i have like three cameras uh, osmo pocket uh five or four whatever Os osmo pocket and insta 360 ace pro and an insta 360 x4 for outdoor and outside camera and footage. So we're gonna go straight, as you guys can see, right over here, we have to merge into this. We have to stop in this stop sign and merge into this lane, not making a right turn. So we need to change the lane now because I don't like when the car makes decision at the very last moment, you need to change the lane. You need to change the lane right now. We are doing it very nice there. Yes. And there is a little bump here. The car always fails to slow down. And yeah, we hit it all the time, all the time. As you guys can see, that car is making that left. We should be over there. But our car failed to do that. Pretty, pretty, pretty bad, right? That car, the car is seeing, like our car is seeing that, that there is a car making that, um, merging, uh, like lane. It's staying in that merging lane and just merge over there through that stop sign. But our car just failed over there. It's this very simple step. You stop in the stop sign, make a lane change, stop on the stop sign, and then, you know, like keep going. But now, it just failed. Yesterday it failed and today it failed again. So we just have to deal with this kind of thing, guys. Also, we're just rerouting. The one good thing I want to mention that when the car makes mistake, uh, it hesitated a little bit. Like today it hesitated a little bit, not like very confused. It slows down, it stopped or something like that. It's not something like that. It's just, you know, it just navigate us through a different route it increased some time definitely it increased probably two or three minutes but it is not any making any mistake where the car is trying to hit something trying to do at the very last moment trying to adjust something no not like that it is something doing is is just navigating us through a new route right also we're gonna make a left turn right over here and immediately after that we're gonna make another left and right and then i'm gonna switch the destination we're gonna find out how the car performs here so let's make a left turn here we're gonna find out let's see okay so we are making a left so okay after this stop sign we're gonna get in and make a left turn and immediately make a right turn so this is all the way a stop sign. We can proceed very nice there. And after that left, we can make our right turn and we're gonna see how the car handles this one. And I'm gonna end the destination and give to our home. Okay, so it is trying to do something interesting. It is slowing down because that, um, you know, just the confusion between uh, that time when I was uh, changing the navigation. Now this is the narrow road I was talking about earlier. Pretty nice there making that left turn. Uh, not so close. If I see that mirror, it seems like it's very close to that fence, but it is not so close. And there is another car double parked on the road 
The car avoided that perfectly too, and you know, navigating us through this road. We're gonna make a left turn here on this stop sign, but we have to look on our left side and right side. Let's see how the car handles this one. There is no other cars coming, so we can definitely make this left turn pretty nice. We have to stop on this stop sign because there is a stop sign, right guys? Also guys, if you guys are new in this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because this is the only free way you can support me as a content creator, right guys? So we're gonna make a right turn, but there are a few other car is coming. So we're gonna make a right turn right now. Let's see how the car handles this right turn. There is no other car, pretty nice. There is another car uh, just waiting to make another left or right, whatever it is, we are going. Also in this road, there are a few black marks on the road and the car thinks it's a pothole and slows down. Let's see, you see, it slows down. It's 27 and then it goes. It, this is not a pothole or something like this. It's just a bl black mark on the road. So here is an interesting situation. This road merges here. There is other car coming from this lane and we have to wait until these cars cleared up. Let's see how the car handles this one. Our car is merging. It's at the very last moment. I'm, I'm not very happy with the decision because there is a car very near to our car and the car at the very last moment merges into this lane. So he had to slow down. At this kind of road, busy road, I don't want to make people slow down for me when I'm merging uh, to somewhere. So we are going. Let's see. I'm going to change the destination one more time. We're going to find out how the car handles this situation. So we're gonna go right over here. We'll see how the car handles things here and there. So let's see. It is changing lane. Um, I didn't set the destination yet, but it is changing lane pretty good there. Okay. So we are, we already changed the destination, but it changed the lane earlier. I don't know. Is it like because it want to go straight or something like that? It thought it, that lane's probably going to end or something like that, but it just changed the lane for some reason. And now we're going to make a right turn on this upcoming stop sign. Not a stop sign, red light, traffic light, and we're going to see how the car handles this one. It already turned on its indicator to move into that right turn lane. As you can see, the car already moved into that right turn uh, lane, and we're going to make a right turn. This is a red light, as you guys can see, but we can definitely make a right turn and the light just change. Uh, good for us. Our car just immediately make that right turn perfectly without any problem. That car is getting into this yellow mark lane. Slows down a little bit to give us space and now it is slowing down because the front car is uh, getting into this uh, driveway at the very last moment. Okay, let's see how the car handles this one. Okay, so our car just crossed it. Very, very nice decision there. So uh, what I was saying, this episode this video is sponsored by are you a tesla fsd beta tester stop scrolling the fsd beta bumper magnet is a must have this sleek durable magnet clearly signals that your tesla is in self-driving mode it's easy to apply easy to remove and the perfect accessories for embracing the future of autonomous driving don't miss out grab yours on amazon today so yeah, guys, um, if you guys ever want to buy that product for your Tesla because you're trying full self-driving in your car and you want to know people, let people know that your car has this cool feature that the, your car can drive you uh, by itself, right, guys? So just, you know, purchase that from Amazon or even Etsy, so that will help my channel. Thank you. And now we are going straight, as you can see. It's very straightforward drive. The car feels very confident, not so much hesitation here and there. Uh, just immediately cross that yellow light. Very nice. And now we have to march here again. One more time we have to march, but there is a yell sign. And we have to slow down a little bit if there is another car coming from the opposite side. So let's see how the car handles. If there is no car, you don't need to, you know, like yell. You just have to be careful. I'm just going to look on my uh, shoulder and I'm definitely going to, the camera will definitely look on his so shoulder too. So let's see. As you guys can see, we are approaching to that immediate uh, immediate right turn, as you can see, not right turn, just, you know, like merging onto another uh, road. 
So you can see there is no stop sign. The car is going very confidently. Okay, there is no slowdown at all. I don't like when the car drives straight like that because you need to slow down in certain situation because if there is any other car, you are speed, you have to just do hard braking, right? So that's what I don't like. You have, I don't like when the car do hard braking. So if you just slow down a little bit, you have the control to stop your car, right? So let's see, there are a few cars trying to get into this parking lot and uh, we are just stuck. So I just want to see how the car handles things here. Okay. But let's see, uh, for some reason my camera is not even connecting to my app and uh, I wanna see what other cars does. So that car is doing this and now we'll see if our car pass like that, but it is not passing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out. I have to take over. It didn't learn from our uh, front car that those car avoided that car and just may goes into the left side and then um just moved over right but unfortunately our car didn't do that it was just stuck and there were like other car from our my backside it was just skipping me so i thought like let's just took over so one thing you know like if full self driving this kind of situation the car stopped like this that's a problem because it's a robo taxi the passenger will be stuck there unless that car moved up right so this kind of situation, if the car learns from your immediate in front of the car, that what that car does is this, you know, like if there is a space, it just uh, cautiously move uh, to the left side and just get out. So our car slows down for those pedestrian. Very nice job there. And now we are going. Probably my outdoor camera just turned off. So we're going to find out when I turn, I reach our destination. Right, guys? So we're going to make a right turn right over there on Roosevelt Avenue. And we'll see how the car handles this situation. So on this upcoming green light, we're going to make a right turn. The car turns on its indicator, slows down pretty slow, pretty slow. And now we are making this right turn pretty good there. Okay, it went to this uh, middle of this two lane where there is yellow marked like for those lane on the opposite side, but the, our car when make that right turn went into that lane. I don't know, there is like no car, so I'm, I'm not gonna say it's a bad thing, but if there is car and this road is very narrow, what the car will do, right guys? So uh, we're gonna go straight as you can see. And then our destination will be very close. So we are very, very close to our destination. Same road, same thing. The car will slow down. You see it immediately brakes and slow down from 35 to 27. Uh, really don't like the idea that you slowing down so many times. There is no bump there. You just see a black mark and you just slow down. Uh, now we, there is like no other car in our left side. So we can march um, confidently. Pretty nice there. And now we are going to go straight. One more thing, guys. If you want to support me, please subscribe to my channel. Because in this channel, we're going to talk about full self-driving Tesla, Elon Musk, and stuff like that. So, also, if you want to support me, you can join my Patreon. Also, you can buy my product just going into Amazon link down in the description. So, we're going to go straight. And we have to move into that left lane to make a left turn right over here. So let's see how the car handles this situation. Um, okay. I took over because there is a there is a car who wants to do racing or something like that. So I just took over. I just wanna, oh, you know, like some sometimes you wanna you wanna show that what Tesla can do, right, guys? Thank you for watching, guys. We're very near to our destination. I just turned on the FSD again. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out, right, guys? We're gonna find out. 
<sighs> okay, so we are just gonna make a left turn here after this uh, white car, definitely, probably. Let's see. Yeah, 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 you can do it. A little bit of confusion there, but we did it perfectly without any problem. So let's see. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate your love and support. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and have a wonderful, wonderful day.